I the hell who now not try. This can't be me. Oh. This can't be Nigerians at all. I the hell, 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 hell. Ghana, 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 Ghana. I the hell, 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 hell. Ghanaians, Gaga. I will be thinking that my village people have sent those cats to come and torment my life or torment my family. Today I'm bringing you another Ogbunge cultural shock in Ghana that will leave you in shock at the end of this video. So today I am bringing another Ghana content and I want to talk about some of the cultural um, shock and the first one is skirts. There was a day I visited my friend in her house. It's in front of her apartment, I saw cat lying down. I quickly ran back. There was no credit on my phone. I, there was no internet, so I couldn't call her. So I came back to her apartment and I started um, screaming. I started calling her name. And she was like, why am I screaming? I should use the bell. I said, no, please come out. Because the cats were staying very close to where um, the bell I was supposed to click on to ring inside her apartment was so i was just there screaming her name her friend vera actually came out and said jesse why are you screaming like that i said there are cats here and i can't even come closer to the cats the cats were looking so scary it seems as if they actually prepared for me like if i was in nigeria i would be, I would be thinking that my village people have sent those cats to come and torment my life or torment my family when she came out she was like um jesse um these are just cats why are you running away from them i was like cats that the cats are scary even my children who were with me that they said mommy the cat is so scary the nigerian cats when they see a human being coming they are going to be on their toes they will just run away quickly but it was just the opposite of it they were just looking at me looking at me looking at me i was like ah, ah. These cats are not even scared of me. Vera now said, Jesse, is it the way you people behave in Nigeria? Do you people run away from cats? I was like, ha, in Nigeria, you rarely see any responsible being keep a cat in his or her house. In Nigeria, we can keep a dog, but a cat is no, no, no. In Nigeria, we see cats as a, a weird creature. We see cats as something that people can use easily use to manipulate you. In Nigeria, we see cats as witches and wizards. In fact, anything cat in Nigeria does not represent anything good. If you see cat in your dream, one day you will speak in tongues. Now, when you see the, um, cat in your dreams and also in physical, one day in front of your house, then mistakenly the cat enters your room. Ha! You have to go and call a pastor. You call a pastor, you call a, a prophet, a prophetess. In fact, you call uh, charismatic people to come and do a special deliverance prayer for yourself and for your family. So she now told me something that actually shocked me. And she said that in Ghana, that cat is part of the family. She told me that 90% of Ghanaians has cats in their house. And most often you will see more than three cats three to nine cats that there are people that even have 10 cats in the house that they are feeding they are taking to veterinary doctor they are taking good care of the cats just as you will take good care of a human being i was like ha. i said wonders shall never end like for ghana cats feeding me i can't feed the cats i can't even use my money to, to buy a cat if you give me cats as a gift i will give it back to you simple if you come to my house and you bring the most beautiful and expensive cat as a gift to me or to my family politely i'm going to return it to you because i don't like cats and this thing is a mentality i grew up with and i don't think it's changing anytime soon when people talk about pets cats cannot be my pets but when you are going to ghana you don't have to be shocked you don't have to be surprised when you see cats going into people into their rooms and coming out when you see cats sitting beside them when you even see cats come to eat with them on the, on the plate don't be scared this is Ghanaians for you cat is a member of the family they feed the cats the only thing they don't do is to close the cats assuming that cat has clothes believe me Ghanaians will also buy clothes for their cats mm. and then they take proper good care of their cats in Ghana cats are called okra okra meaning life 
But when you hear busu in Nigeria, it is referring to a cart. And sincerely, I don't know the meaning of um, the meaning of busu. But in Ghana, it is called okra, and okra means life. Now, Ghanaians believe that cats help to chase evil spirits. According to them, that if an evil spirit want to attack you, that the cats will sacrifice themselves in order to save the human being. In Nigeria, mm. if an evil spirit wants to kill you, it will turn into a cat. In Nigeria, a cat will not sacrifice itself for a human being. It is the other way around. In Ghana, cats are considered as embodiment of one soul. Cats in Ghana are not um, subjected to any kind of to torture or associated with evil. I had to come inside to finish this um, video because inside the car, myself and my children were sweating like Christmas goats. I also heard that in Ghana, that the government provides easy access to water supply. In Nigeria, the government is doing little or nothing about the water supply because to the best of my knowledge while I was in Nigeria, we go to buy water from um, water sellers or from those who have um, boreholes. Yes, that is how we buy our water. But the opposite actually has to be the case. The government are really sensitive um, to the needs of their citizens and they are providing a um, coastal water supply what they do is that at the end of the month you have to pay for your water you have to pay for the bill so in Ghana if you plan relocating to Ghana be prepared or have it at the back of your mind that you are also going to pay for water usage to the government do you really want to know how we dispose most of our garbage or trash in Nigeria <laughs> You want to know? You, you Do you want to know? If I tell you how to dispose it, please don't hold it against me, people. I am begging you, do not hold it against me. We actually look for an abandoned land and dispose our trash. And the government is not even saying to that. So most of the places you go that is either abandoned, an abandoned um, place, or a place that people really do not live, or somehow, somehow, we just find a way to dump. So Nigerians are good at dumping their, their trash in a particular place we don't dispose it the only one that i'm fully aware that the government take care of whether the government or the local government um chairman take care of if they, is, is the one in the market like i know that every month in the market the town where i was brought up every month we have those who, who comes to take the garbage from the um, businessmen and women and um, go to dispose it I don't know where they dispose it so for you to dispose your garbage you pay a certain amount of um, fee sometimes it was 15 naira 20 naira